Hey everyone, Daniel Fusco here. Welcome to today's two minute message. I love to say that God invites each one of us to live upward, inward, and outward. That's based on the greatest commandment that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind. And the second commandment, which is like it, that we should love our neighbor as yourself. That we live upward, we love God. And then we live outward, we love our neighbors as we love ourselves, which is living inward. Now, there's a special nuance in there. And sometimes people will get upset because they say, well, doesn't the Apostle Paul say to Timothy that in the last days people will be lovers of themselves? Now listen, if Jesus said we should love God and love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and then Paul says we should, in the last days people will be lovers of themselves, how do we put these two things together? And it's simple. The only way to properly love yourself is if you understand God's love for you. Right? So within the greatest commandment, that upward informs the inward and the outward. But what Paul's talking about is people who don't believe in God and don't love God, and because they don't love God, their love of self is actually idolatry. They worship themselves, and that type of love, a self-love divorce from the love of God, is the worst thing for you and all of creation, and it's a total act of rebellion against God. So, but we're not talking about that. See, we wanna love God, and when we love God, we experience God because he first loved us, and then we see ourselves properly. So I want you not just to love yourself divorced from who God is, because that would be a train wreck, and it is a train wreck. But if you allow God's love to touch you, you will love yourself and value yourself as God does, that you could be a blessing into the world as you live outward. God bless you today.